good morning. It's just after seven here at the Jay Young IDP camp outside of Laisan. And we're here to follow uh, this family over here throughout the day for this drone project that we've been talking about before. We followed uh, one of the daughters in the family, Bokyo, she is 15 years old, to school and she is about to get into English class. Yeah, and our plan is to follow members of the family to different places uh, around the camp today, the IDP camp, and at the end uh, mark them out on the map we're doing with the drone. Uh, and, and each place will be like a small story on that map about their daily life or their, their day, basically. Alright, we're gonna try to fly the drone now and make this map of the refugee camp. Um, we're using an app called Drone Deploy and it's made for like agricultural reasons to cover uh, and map out farmland and stuff like that. But we have some friends in Sweden who have a company that can extract data from maps like that uh, for humanitarian reasons. So for refugee camps and IDP camps it's perfect. Uh, and hopefully they can see for example how many toilets are here how many points of uh, how many places is there to get water how many houses are there how many roofs are whole all that kind of stuff that can be good to know for for a camp um, and we have been collecting data points and points of interest throughout the day as well um, for example the school and, and the home of the family we were with before um, yeah so we're gonna try and see if if we get it to work Right, now I'm gonna go through the flight list. Permissions, drone, camera, controller, flight plan. All checked out good. Um, let's hope this works, because it's automated. What does it say? Over maximum flight radius. So I might have to try to make the map a bit smaller. What happened, Villa? Uh, there's something with the with the mapping app. Uh, it says it's over maximum flight radius, uh, even though we make the map super small. So I don't know what's wrong. We gotta call tech support at home. Yeah, we're in contact with our friends in Sweden. Uh, we'll try to sort it till tomorrow. So we'll make a stop here at the IDP camp on our way uh, tomorrow. Um, yeah, we've been walking around the camp with a 360 camera, taking pictures like this. And we have a few more stops before uh, we're gonna call it a day. As long as we can get the map and the, the drone working to get the map tomorrow, we can insert these 360 moments into the map, hopefully. Yeah, yeah now we're watching a karate lesson here for the moment. Yeah. So we're back at the IDP camp and we're going to give the drone a new try. We have updated firmware, updated software. Let's see how it goes. It's working. Yeah, it's working. Fantastic. This is the shirt. Firmware updates. Yeah, it's 
coming. Oh, Oh, look alright? Yeah, it's coming down on a bush, but. Okay, we got it. The whole camp and the map. Well done. The 3D map. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, we did it. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Alright, we did it. That was our last chance to get the drone mapping thing working and uh, it worked. So that feels really good. Um, yeah, looking forward to seeing the result. Yeah. Definitely. And uh, now we're off. So see you in the next episode. Bye. And subscribe. And say goodnight. Goodnight. It's daytime.